Hi everyone, welcome back in the part 2 of the tutorial on how to make a character. Today we are going to see how to model body and clothes, so let's get started. For the first part of the body which is going to be the dress, I'm adding a cube and I'm sizing down the top vertices in the X and Y axis. And I'm always switching from looking to the front uh, to looking to the side, back and forth, so I don't have any surprise when I will turn around my model. Since we are trying to keep things as simple as possible, I'm doing the dress right now. You could add a chest underneath, but since we are only modeling and as I said, trying to keep it as simple as possible, I find it easier to do directly directly the clothes. Now let's add another cube to add the arms. I'm sizing it down and putting them on the side of the body and I'm adding a mirror modifier. In the mirror object I'm choosing the cube I've made earlier and I'm adding another cube to make the legs. Same process we are adding a mirror modifier. I'm now pressing shift D to duplicate these legs in order to make the shoes. I'm adding a loop and from the side view I'm extruding the face and I'm deleting the top faces. Back to the arms, I'm also deleting the top faces. Now that we have blocked the main shapes, we can start to add the subdivision modifier to out of both shape. For the dress, I'm adding another loop cut to create the shape I want and deleting the bottom one. And from the side view I'm tweaking the points. Up to the legs, we are only adding a subdivision modifier and deleting the top and bottom faces once again. For now, the shoes, I'm of course adding a subdivision modifier and, and add a loop cut and sliding it down to the bottom of the shoes. I'm now adding a cylinder to make the neck. Now for the hands, we are pressing Shift D to duplicate the arms and selecting the bottom vertice and pressing F to create face. For the thumb, I simply select the vertice and right click, I choose subdivision. But as I'm editing this, I just realized that I could just also bevel the two bottom point and would have just all the same. Anyway, here I'm sizing down the hand in the Y axis to make it look much rounder. I've already showed how to make different kind of hand on another one of my tutorials, but if you want a specific video uh, on how to make a hand, let me know in the comment section. And now I'm just tweaking point to make the sleeve fit the shape of the hand. Here I selected all of the new mesh I have just created and I right click smooth it. Now I'm just tweaking some points to make the whole look more natural and I'm deleting the top faces where the neck is going to fit and just readjusting my points. Same process as in the first part, I'm deleting half of my mesh to add a mirror modifier so I don't have to make changes twice every time. And since I want my dress to have a color in a V shape, I'm extending the neck to make the beginning of the chest. The new loop in the middle, I will use it to make the shape of the color. And now I add another cube to make the shirt underneath. I'm deleting the bottom face and selecting the two front vertices to make the edge of the color shirt. And don't forget to readjust the back of the color. I have also add a solidify modifier so I can adjust easily the thickness of my shirt.
now let's move to the shoes we are going for boots here I have quickly added socks by duplicating the legs and sizing them up a little bit I'm inserting a new face into the front one of the shoes and dilating the faces we just have created to make a hole for the shoe tongue then I select this loop and I press shift D and then I press P to separate the new mesh and I press F to create a face and I'm adding a loop on the top to shape it Don't forget to add a solidify modifier to make the boot thicker Of course, if you want more detailed tutorial on how to make a shoe, I've already made a video where we create cute sneakers, so you should check that out. Now for the shoelace, I'm simply using a single word and converting it as a curve with a subdivision modifier and duplicating the shoelace as much as I want. I'm joining them by pressing Ctrl D, so there is one uh, unique mesh. Um, now I can add a mirror modifier. And here I'm adding details to make them a little bit untied. We are almost done, I'm readjusting a little bit some parts that I find weird or that I feel like they don't look right. Now let's move on to the colors. It's important to have color palette in mind or to already know what kind of color you want to use. For example, in this case, I have to choose a blue color for my hair and I already know that the complementary color of blue is yellow or orange depending on the blue you choose. So I know that blue and orange would look great together. If you have trouble finding color that match together, there are tons of websites that can help you, but I find the color wheel from Adobe very useful and very helpful. It's free and it's really easy to understand, you don't have to follow everything it said, but it can be helpful when you don't know which color to pick. Now we have the basic color we're going to use, we can add more details. I decided to add sewing around the neck. I'm simply adding a cube with subdivision modifier and I will place them around the color of my dress. For the sewing around the sleeve, I'm selecting this loop and I duplicate it and converting it into a curve. Then in the bevel tab of the curve, I'm adding some depth. Right. 
Moving on to the shoes, I'm using a plane to add details behind the boots. Then I'm adding cube, adding faces and deleting them to make a hole. Then using the bridge loop tool to connect the next vertices. Now you will have to add a subdivision modifier, so we will have a donut shape. I could have used the pre-shaped donut, but you cannot edit it as easily as you can with this method. Then I'm duplicating them and placing them where they should lace should come from and of course always have a mirror modifier so I save myself a lot of time To make my boots a little bit more real, I changed a few things and I've added more details with the shoelaces. To make a hole here, I'm taking a cylinder and then I'm adding a boolean modifier. For the texture I'm using here, they come from my own library. When you made a material that you really like, you can save it into Blender so you will be able to use it again in other projects. I'll let you see how I made the materials I'm using so you can pause the video or screenshot it if you want the same exact look. And that's basically how I make my body and clothes. I really hope you find this tutorial helpful and as usual if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask them in the comment section. 
I will see you in the next and third part where we will see how to make accessories to give our character a little bit more personality.